Bell Equipment manufactures and distributes a wide range of materials handling equipment which is marketed both locally and internationally. The company has a market cap of 2.2 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 2.2 and a dividend yield of 1.6%. And the tough times are behind this one now, are they Paul? This is one of South Africa's little industrial gems, but you're right, it had a very, very bad time in the 0809 period. Understandably, because in that phase, everybody was suspending capital equipment spending. And ultimately, that's what they do. They make articulated uh, dump trucks. They invented those little grabbers that pick up uh, the cane in the Natal uh, Midlands. They have a plant now in Germany, but also a plant in Richards Bay. They got a big bailout check from the IDC and good credit to the IDC for stepping in. They do seem to have stabilized it, but I'm still a little bit worried about their slightly shifty shareholder base, where the family and the traditional stake that uh, John Deere had and their empowerment shareholder seems to be wanting to get out. So anyway, all things considered, it's a bit of a mixed picture. Daniel, do you share Paul's concerns with the shareholder arrangement in the stock? I mean, it's, it's always good to look at things like that because it could be of concern. Um, at this point, I don't know if it's sufficient concern to detract enough from the fundamental viewpoint. I'm not saying the fundamental viewpoint is good or bad, but I'm just saying uh, at this point, the fundamental viewpoint would be of more importance than the shareholding. So, Paul, Bell Equipment, um, in light of uh, you know, looking at that share price, well, it's look, not doing I too mean, badly there. Operationally, yes, it's rebounded. And operationally, I think they look good. They're now going in with these sort of smaller... Uh, articulated trucks and I think if they you know just keep to their guns they certainly have a lot of market presence good brand in that space it's a global sales story they've got certain advantages vis-a-vis -vis their production structure being both here and in Germany so I think they'll continue to do fine it is though a sector where the uh, the earnings are lumpy similar to what we were saying earlier about Harden so you do need to kind of put it on a careful PE uh, for the moment anyway though I'm fairly positive about them uh, Daniel hot or not Bell equipment uh, can I just give a quick rundown? Yes, you can. Thing, <laughs> so basically, it's, it's interesting that Paul mentions the articulated dump trucks, the ADTs. Now, Bell is, has got some of the leading technology globally for these pieces of equipment, which I think is quite amazing. Uh, they also recently came out of an agreement with John Deere that has positives and negatives. Some of the negatives are that John Deere is now going to introduce their own ADTs into the local market. But there are countries in the world that Bell was previous, that, previous, that they could previously not go into uh, based off this agreement that they can now go into. For example, North America, which is the biggest ADT market in the world. And their factory in Germany, which Paul mentioned earlier, that's actually running full out building ADTs for that market. Now, that th the North American business actually made a loss uh, in the first half as they were gearing up to push their equipment in, uh, into that market. I'm quite excited about this. I'm quite excited about uh, seeing that loss turn into a profit as they grow into that market. So hot or not? So uh, I'd say this is an interesting stock. It's actually trading below book value, and I'd say it's hot. Paul, hot or not? No, I like that theory, so hot for me too.